Johnny, just uh, something a little bit different tonight. George the Lion Longanides taking on the uh, Thai champion Anand Don Pradip in a kickboxing fight under K1 rules. This, uh, this should be an interesting fight, this one, John. Uh, seeing uh, the Longanides name in the ring yet again, George has got an impressive record. And here comes Dan the man making his way towards the ring, the Would absolute legend of kickboxing. Would you want to receive the ring as he celebrates the 16th anniversary? As Peter Lewis said, of his great win over Dennis Selexio, Stan the Man Longinides. 16 years have flown. Here comes George, uh, George in the ring, the ring with an entourage uh, fit for a king. Could have said Chopper in his corner as well, I'm sure he'll be staring at the tyre over on the other side. Mark, Brandon Mark, Chopper Reed stepping in to assist in the red corner. As our ring announcer Howard Lee mentioned, it's the anniversary of when uh, Stan the Man fought Dennis Alexio. That uh, infamous fight where Dennis uh, said he broke his leg on the uh, uneven canvas, but we know it was a massive uh, leg kick there yeah. from Stan. Well, we were sitting there ringside, Johnny, and we know the power that was in Stan the Man's leg kicks, and it's the, the game, kick that did the damage. Dennis Alexia can dispute it as much as he Five likes. rounds of K1 kickboxing. In this year, the blue corner, 24 years of age, all the way from Bangkok, Thailand. He was a professional Muay Thai record. This is his record. 42 bouts, 31 wins, combining boxing, kickboxing. He is the current number one ranked cruiserweight in Thailand, setting it five of the old measurements, 176 centimetres, weighing already 93 kilograms. Mr. Tassanui in the corner, would you welcome the bone crusher, Don Pradif, Don Pradif, blue corner. And across the ring from Blackburn, Victoria, training of definition fitness center in East, Don Caster. He brings the center ring a perfect an unblemished record, 11 bouts, 11 wins, 7 by way of knockout. He's the current WOKA Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion and the K1 Osaka Super Fight winner. He rated in an explosive, 99 kilograms even. He displays the fight shots of the legendary Stan the Man, his brother. Tonight celebrating the 16th anniversary. The day of the night, he destroyed the Terminator, Dennis Alexio. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly sponsored by Big Big Leverage and Vasily Theodorus. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Australia's greatest ever kickboxing surname. This is the Iron Lion, George Longini. There we go, Johnny. A great following there for George the Iron Lion. Longer than he's taking on men from Don Prudis. Anderson. Managed by Peter Meliadis. Referee's instructions. Okay, boys. The K1 rule. Yeah? And on the rash leaving Severy. On the leg. You understand all that? You know, understand the K1 rules? Okay? Good luck to you both, okay? Referee good, good Chris luck. Anderson tried to explain the K1 rules to the tie. I'm not sure he really understood, but I think he was saying that you can't hold the leg. But uh, the ties, as we know, John, and uh, as Howard was saying, uh, Anton Dompredik has had 42 fights, mainly under, under Muay Thai fights and a, a few boxing fights, so he'll be used to grabbing the leg. So I'll be interested to see if he does grab the leg of, uh, of George as he's kicking, but this is under K1 rules. So, uh, very brief clinch, one knee, and then they've got to separate again. No always, obviously. Last week, round one. But George, the iron line, coming with an undefeated record of 11 fights. Including a super fight win over there, came on in the soccer a few years back. As George opens up the first round with a nice high roundhouse kick to the head of Anant. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of power behind there, just finding his range and just, uh, just showing his flexibility to Anant. The tie weighing in at 93 kilos and George weighing in at uh, touch under 100 at 99. And I'd say a good 70 of that. Uh, of those kilograms are in uh, George Iron Line's upper body, John. He's, yeah. he's got an absolutely amazing physique. It's quite scary to look at, actually. I think the Thai must be thinking, have a look at this guy. What have I got myself into? Yeah, no, very well put together. And a fair bit of second uh, tattoo on the, on the back of the tie there. 
Oh. One thing you know with the Thais though, John, they're, they're ferocious with their leg kicks and uh, it's what they're used to. You hear the old stories of them uh, training in the kicking banana trees and all that sort of stuff mate but just the, the amount of work they do in the ring and in fighting they're, they're very strong with their legs so it'll be a testament to George to see how he how he stands up to to the tie strength. I'm impressed by uh, the technique by not there jumping around house kick very early on here in the first stanza. George once again just uh, just flicking up the roundhouse kicks one thing the tie won't be used to, John. This is scheduled for ten rounds, I think. I think it was, and uh, the ties wouldn't be used to that. They're used to normally five rounds, uh, three-minute duration. So but both boys are uh, just taking it easy, just feeling each other. Good, good slapping round kick there from George. Caught, uh, caught an on from the inside leg. Not retaliating with a nice uh, thigh kick of his own. Good check there. Round one. Not much a kicking contest there in the first round, Johnny. Yeah, Hardly a punch thrown by the fighter. No leather traded there, John, but uh, just uh, check those last couple of kicks there from George. It looked like he had a bit of a limp going back from the nice. corner. Spin on the ground if you want. Ice uh, pack on the left shin. Yeah. Good to see uh, Paris Productions again, right in the corner there, getting uh, getting some good footage of the of, of the fighters in each corner, and you might be able to hear some of the effects over the DVD. But if you want to. Want to get a copy of the DVD? You can contact uh, Peter and also at Old Toro Promotions or Paris Productions 0428 586 283 for the best videos in the business. Dare I say that if you're watching this program now, you've already purchased the DVD. Mate, there's a very, very, very good observation, but for the next ones, you can contact uh, Paris Productions. Anyway, back to round two. All the Canadians sitting next to me here tonight. <laughs> Johnny Kev. It's been a long night, John. Nice high round kick by George. Just plugging, the, pl plugging all the all the supporters there, John. I'm not going to let this one go. Here. Yeah, nice work by uh, George. A couple of punch combination and a step up knee. Yeah, only the one, uh, only the one knee uh, allowed in the under K1 rules. A nice round kick to the ribs by George Longanides. Once again, slapping round kick. The rear supporting leg, which is a trademark of the Longanides. Obviously, if Stan the Man has, uh, has had a say in the training of George. Good checking there from George. We'll see him uh, use the low kicks to great effect. Tried you through two low uh, round kicks and George checked them both perfectly. Nothing like, uh, I'm sure the boxers will be sitting back watching this one, just watching a bit of shin on shin action, mate. It doesn't, uh, doesn't get much harder than that. Ooh, spinning back piece by George Longanid, he's caught a not flush on the chin. Yeah, good way to end the second round there. That's a that's a trademark Longanides technique as well, the spinning back fist. Nice high round kick by George Longanides again, showing his flexibility in both kicking legs. Good exchange. One of, one of the things, uh, certainly in the striking arts, mate, but uh, also in the, in the kickboxing or the K1 rules, is you know, if, you, if your opponent's going to kick, you've got to counter quickly to negate any scoring techniques. Or <laughs> Oh, 
Certainly Georgia looking a lot, a lot better condition than uh, the, the tie on. What a great corporate support here tonight for Georgia as well. I'm just getting back to Steve from Georgia. Yeah, that one just missing the mark, Johnny, but uh, obviously after the success of the first one at the end of the first round, he knows that he's going to take his head off if he connects sweetly with one of those. That's not a technique the ties will be used to. Uh, if, he, if he's had a predominantly uh, Muay Thai background, uh, obviously boxing as well, uh, the spinning back fist aren't, aren't a common occurrence. And there's three unanswered uh, low leg kicks there from Jordan. It looks like it's worrying the tie a bit. Yeah, the tie would want to start checking those low kicks, Johnny, or else uh, he won't be standing for too much longer. It's nice, George. Beautiful. Come on! Let's go, George. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go there you go, Johnny, into the third round. Some, uh, good leg work there from George. Probably got him ahead on the scorecard at this stage as he's been peppering away at the, the lower legs of the tie. Very much a kick fight so far, Johnny, for the first couple of rounds. Apart from George, a few spinning back this weapon, sent a lot of leg work. And George is peppering away at the lower legs. Again! I think the time might be starting to feel there, Johnny. He's uh, switching uh, into southpaw stance. Yes, I think he's got to be protecting the. Uh, that lead leg, Johnny, he looks like uh, he's been hurt. He yeah, looks like he's got a distinct limb, limb on him at the moment, so George, uh, George will be firing away at that lead leg. But it's also a testament to the strength of uh, George's kicks as well. And his legs, whilst the tie's, uh, tie's checking the kicks, George is throwing them as well, so they're, they're both connecting. Tempted catch there of the kick by uh, a knock, which uh, referee Chris Anderson steps in, gives him a warning. That's not allowed under K1 rules. Yeah, we clearly heard that at the start. Another attempt at spinning back fist, just missing the mark. As George tries once again, this time follows up with a nice roundhouse kick. Second morning. Second morning. Not sure the tie knows what he's getting warned for. But <laughs> well, he bows in the acknowledgement, so he, <laughs> as they resume. Very impressed with George's uh, leg skills at the moment, just peppering away the tie's lower legs. Yeah, he's really going to town with those, with those low kicks, Johnny. Oh, that one did the damage. Oh, we see the tie. He's hurt. Referee Chris Anderson flying an eight count. To yeah, he's looking a bit wobbly, Johnny. I don't know whether this is going to continue, Johnny. I think uh, I think George might have done the damage. No, there you go. When you see the fight already on the referee to stand up, I think that's it. <laughs> not, Show's over. Not a good sign, John. I'll tell you what, that's a uh, testament to George behind line Longanides. It's not too often you see a tie get uh, beaten by TKO with leg kicks. So full credit to, to George. He's put on an impressive display here tonight. And uh, TKO in the fourth round against uh, Anant Don Pradith from Thailand. Well, the bone crusher had his legs crushed. <laughs> An unusual fight name for, for the tie, but uh, look, full credit to George. He just kept it away, those, le those leg kicks, and uh, he, he could see that the tie was worried by them, and George just kept working away at them, and you could hear Stan calling out to him just to, to keep going low. Great to see Peter Maniata since in the ring from the KO all Boxing glory. Show Christ on Christ Channel 31. All the glory and honour to him. It's not super about that. Thank you. The official time, 1 minute, 49 seconds in a round four. Taking his perfect record at 12 bounds, 12 wins, and inside the distance, the Iron Lion, George Longini. There you go, John, an impressive uh, win to George Longini. I'd love to see him uh, that fight on some of the local kickboxing cards against some of the heavyweights, some of the heavyweights going around at the moment. But, uh, an impressive record, 12 fights for 12 wins.